So I wasn't able to go live on this thing because my account's new. So like this is like a pre-recorded video. You know what I'm saying? Just me in a motherfucking booth. Thank you very much. Anyway, yeah, bro. But this Super Bowl was ass, bro. That was a, like the worst Super Bowl I've ever seen ever since that damn Broncos debacle when they played the Seahawks, man, with uh, Manning through like 60 touchdown passes, four interceptions that year, and win to lose the Super Bowl like 48 to 3, uh, some old bullshit. Man, the Rams embarrassed the NFC. They embarrassed the NFC. Like, how the fuck do you go from scoring 38, no, 33.8 points per game to only scoring three points in the Super Bowl to a defense that came in the league as, like, bottom third in the league? Bottom third. How do you do that? Like, you shouldn't do that. Like, and me sitting as a Eagles fan, you know, <clears throat> Walking to him, you know what I'm saying? Like I got my hat and stuff in the uh in the house there. Oh, I actually got my hat right here. What's y'all talking about? You know, fly goes fly. But yeah, I'm saying, but that Super Bowl was ass. Oh, and then I found a lighter. <laughs> Small place you find things. But yeah, I'm saying, man. But how do you do that? How do you do that? Like, like that was embarrassing for the NFC, and and it just goes to show you that like if the Eagles would have won that Super Bowl last year, the NFC would have went over half a decade just getting the asses whooped by the AFC. Because, you know, this is 4 like, like, we really ain't did shit. It's been the Pates, the Patriots, uh, yeah, the Patriots, I'm losing my voice here. It's been the Patriots, the Steelers, on their second time since, you no know, Bill Cowell retired. Uh... Yeah, so what the Patriots, the Steelers, the Broncos, um, and the Ravens. You know what I'm saying? So we be getting our asses kicked if you no know, if a if a people to for the Rams to go into the Super Bowl to only score three points? Three points. After y'all was talking all that hot shit about how uh about how y'all's the NFC. Uh you know I'm saying that's a little bullshit. Cause the only reason y'all even got Super Bowl was because of a blown call. I mean, granted, no, Drew Brees should have played a little better and not threw that interception to a nigga that was falling down. But you know, I mean, like that's neither here nor there at this point. No, Saints fans gotta get over it. But I'm just saying, like I feel like the Saints would have made a, like a better contest because if you hold somebody to, bro, if you hold Tom Brady to 13 points, like you have to win that game. Like we can go back to the 2007 and 2010 Super Bowl, um, you know, like just between the Giants and the Patriots, and we can use that formula. Like the first Super Bowl, the Giants beat them like 17-14. I mean, you know, like just you know, like just correct me if I'm wrong on that. But we see that if you put Brady on his ass and you keep him below 21 points and make it like a possession game, you know what I'm saying, and don't commit no turnovers. Like you're in there. Granted, it was a younger Eli Manning in a, you know, in a Hall of Fame defensive line. I mean, I don't know if you count Jason Pierre Paul as a future Hall of Famer, but you know, still though, the, like if you hold Brady to that many points, your offense has to show up. And shout out to that Rams defense, man. Shout out to that Rams defense, man. Like they gave it all they got. The Sue and Donald showed up. Like, Littleton came in to pick, you know what I'm saying? Like, on that little first drive, cool, man. But, Jer I mean, but but Belichick knew what he was doing when he played them coverages with Jared Goff. He mixed up the coverage. He mixed up the coverage, making it seem like over four rushers were coming for him when really it was just like three or four rushers coming in at a time. You know what I'm saying? Because he knew how to play the young quarterback. You mix up the coverage, disguise the blitz, and you just play ball. And Jared Goff out there, you know what I'm saying? Like, granted, I'm saying, you know, like, not reading the coverage. He missing, like, an open pass to Brandon Cooks in the end zone, man. Like, we might be having, like, a different discussion if Brandon Cooks would have caught that ball in the end zone, like, uh, on the first round. I mean, even though he threw it late, but still, though. Like, that's all on Jared Goff. But the second time... You know, in the fourth quarter when Stefan Gilmore got that pick, shout out to the all pro. That's why he's all pro. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
if Brandon Cooks would have caught that ball, like the play before Stephon Gilmore caught that pick, we might be having a different discussion. So the defense has already held them like to three points up until seven minutes into the, you know, like the fourth quarter. So that should be an easy win. So all in all, I was just embarrassed like to be an NFC, you know, team blue. I was just embarrassed. Like the Rams should be embarrassed. You know, like the Rams should be so embarrassed, man. Like they should go 0-2 to start the season next year. That's how I feel.